answer. If you do, if you use it for the brown paper, it gives you no trouble, right? It's actually a good, quick, and easy tool to use. The problem I have found is when you put plastic on it and try to mask things with plastic, I think 3M needs to get their act together a little bit more than they already have in the way the plastic is folded. Because it's a learning curve when you buy this tool for $50 to $70. And you go and get the plastic and think you're going to move right along. And your plastic keeps getting eaten up by the tape. Well, I spent the time to look it over. This plastic opens up. You can get them nine feet long. This is six feet. And so this is folded six, five times. Okay, so if you look at the plastic as, a, as it's folded, here's what we're looking at. You see that little ridge there? So you have the meat of the plastic here so that your tape doesn't attach itself to the inner part that goes on to the surface you're trying to cover. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to try to do this right for you. I suggest that you make sure that your tape is on properly, that it's under this little protective lever here, and that it's rolled onto the plastic properly under this this thing that keeps it down. Other than that, the way you pull it out makes the difference between whether or not your plastic gets attached to the tape improperly or correctly. Let's try it. Once you open it up, you can see through the tape that the plastic is attached. You can see the first third of the tape where my thumb is. I have plastic there. But let's look at the other side. You see that, that plastic that's detached from the tape? If you should move your hand incorrectly, this plastic right here will attach to this tape. So the way you take it off has to be, you keep it level with your body. You don't start bending it, because if you do, if you've used this, you know what I'm talking about. Let's put it on. Let's come in close. Let's cover when you want to do a really good job, okay? Wherever your tape lays is going to be the line of your paint. So let's say you want it to be the painter who has the perfect line just right up against the, the edge of the tile. That's fine. Wherever you choose, if you want to cover the grout, that's fine too. Or if you just want to cover the tile, you have to be consistent because this is going to be the colored paint line. In other words, wherever the tape is not will be paint. So if my line is going like this, your paint is going to go like that too. Okay, so now here's where people get into trouble. You pull it off. Now I'm hitting the wall, right? Here's how you got to do this. Use two hands to get this stuff in place. Now when you come to a corner, if you're continuing on to the next wall, stick your finger in that corner and bring that tape down with your thumb. We still don't know if our plastic is going to come off free and clear. Okay, now watch this. I grab it. I want to make sure I don't mess this tape up here with the plastic. Try to get as clean as a brake as possible. Okay, so now let's see how I did. If I did it right, my tape will not be sticking on to that part of the plastic. You see? Now, believe me, I have failed a dozen times. And the reason I'm doing this video is to help you. Look, it's a little stuck there, look. Look. And this is why you start wondering if it's worth it to buy the tool. Fortunately, it didn't get too stuck. But sometimes when you pull this plastic, your plastic gets stuck to that tape. 
and then you find that you've wasted a lot of money. This stuff is not cheap. Yeah, you would agree that if it does come off pretty good, this is a quick, fast way and very efficient way to cover lower walls um, and even other things like chairs and pictures that are on the wall. You know, it covers quick. If you had to take plastic and drape it around the room with tape, you'd be spending a lot of time. This is supposed to put tape on your plastic real quickly. But I think there's a divine, a, I think there's a design flaw in the product. I think the plastic has to be done where the user gets more of a lift. Not just a quarter of an inch here. They should give us a half an inch. Because all you have to do is make one little mistake and if your tape gets stuck in two or three spots, you have a massive hole in your plastic because you pull on it and it's so stuck to the tape that it, your pressure puts a hole in the plastic. So that's how you use it properly. Let's do it one more time. So if your tape is on properly and the tape is rolled up underneath this, this part, if it's over it, it's wrong. It's supposed to keep the tape in line. And under this black thing, then we, we can see right here that we have tape, the plastic, the one layer of plastic here, and the rest is, is uh, five layers right here. If this, somehow, if this gets attached to this, you're in trouble. Let's try to do it again. I think the trick is, is to pull it off without folding and moving it too much. I've had trouble where when you go to tear it, you put too much pressure on it and then the tape gets stuck to the plastic. So I don't, I don't think it's a great product for a, uh, a beginner. I think it will make you frustrated unless you, you learn how to use it properly. And you know what the problem is. Nobody's around to teach you how to use it. Try to call the rep from Sherwin-Williams and ask them, how do you use this thing? They're not going to know how to do it. That's what frustrates me. The people who sell it know nothing about it. So we got interrupted. The lights went out. So if we did it right, we should be able to just pull it down. Now look, I have failed so many times at this that I decided that I don't have the time to keep failing at this. I better learn how to do this. When I took a hard look at this roll of plastic, I realized what was going on. First of all, you have to apply the, the, the masking plastic with the printed side facing you. So there you have it. Once again, you just take the uh, spool Make sure that you have your feed side correct. So if it's installed properly, you can read Easy Mask. And then the top part of Easy Mask goes in first. Don't waste your plastic. Roll it back up. Making sure that the top part which the tape grabs is correct. Put your tape on it. And then let's see. For the first few inches, you know you're gonna waste a little bit. And when you pull it out, keep it nice and straight. You can already see, if you can see through that tape, the plastic that it's stuck to goes up and down. It's not a perfect tool. If it should go too much up and down, you got too much of the plastic. I can already see too much of the plastic in the middle. I 
and that's how it gets stuck. It's actually stuck to it. So then you get stuck into one of these situations where you're trying to pull the plastic out. But if you do, don't despair too quickly because you can hold the top portion of the tape and try to pull your plastic out. Okay, so that's a failure. Multiply this by five times, you're wasting 10 to $15 a shot. That's how you use it correctly, and that's how you use it incorrectly. I'll see you on the next one.